Well, tonight for Rewind, Peter Byrne takes a look at one of Queensland's most puzzling geological mysteries. Decades of digging by scientists from all over the world has failed to shed light on the origins of the mystery craters near Bundaberg. This cluster of unexplained craters has baffled scientists since 1971. It is totally unique in the world, we're led to believe. The 35 water-filled holes in South Collan, north of Bundaberg, protrude from a sandstone shelf, a famous landmark that's been the subject of furious digging by experts. I think that uh, one of the problems we might have come across if had we found a definitive answer is what would you call them? <laughs> in the future. After 42 years of investigations, the puzzle as to how and why the craters are there still remains a puzzle. The mystery craters is a phenomenon uh, the geologists all over the globe have been here uh, and they're unable to determine exactly how it was, was uh, formed. The craters were discovered by Owen Murren, a local farmer who was ploughing his paddock when he hit the rock, unearthing the mystery. My kids and uh, his kids went to school together and it used to be a real joke that Murren stinks, Murren smells, Murren digs mystery wells. I think I was about 10 years old when, um, when the craters were open, so um, I can remember uh, growing up with the Murren kids. Rob Haberman lives on the property next door to the craters. That's actually the hole we used to swim in was right there. I can remember that. He thinks volcanic activity caused the craters. Others say it's hot springs. There's even an out-of-this-world explanation. The leaders of the community were playing tennis and they swear that there was a, a blue light over the top of them and a humming sound, so whether it was something they conjured up, I don't know. But, you know, UFOs, who knows? Scientists' favourite theory is that a meteor shower left its mark 25 million years ago. But then sandstone from outer space, a lot of geologists say, no, it can't be. So that dispenses with that to a degree of the sandstone was soft and we had a meteor shower. The theories have fascinated Ron Dodds for years. He took over the centre in 1998 when he realised there were another four craters yet to be discovered. What I did was organise through the backpacker hostels for, for people from 20 different nationalities to come out and be part of it. And it was, oh, it was really, really nice to see them all involved in digging things out. Today, the craters remain just as popular as they did four decades ago. Even today, up to 14,000 people a year make the trip to South Kalan to view the craters for themselves. Someone was going to... Um... Uh, be able to tell you exactly what it was they should have done by now because it would be since about 1971 and it's now 2013 and no one seems to have come up with the right answer yet. And perhaps they never will. This is Peter Byrne for Seven Local News.